everybody, hi, welcome back to Amandala's kitchen. It's actually my kitchen in my house and I'm Amanda and my YouTube channel is Amandala, so here we are. It's pretty close to Christmas and so I thought we could do something Christmassy. I'm not really that kind of person who's really organised and into making lots of Christmas cake etc etc but I do have a fondness for mince pies and so today we're going to make gluten-free and refined sugar-free mince pies, fruit mince pies. So let's get started. We firstly add some apricots, dried apricots. Now all of these dried fruit are organic. If you can source organic it would be I think a lot better. Um, I try to as much as possible. So dried apricots, these ones, they're dark as you can see because there's no sulfur uh, sulfide added to them as a preservative um, which makes them dark. The orange ones actually have sulfide added to them. So see if you can source some organic ones. So there's about um, 50 grams of that and here we have 50 grams of organic uh, dried figs and 50 grams of uh, dates and 50 grams of uh, sultanas and 50 grams of prunes actually forgot what they were eh? <laughs> for a moment Oh, look, it, it all looks a little bit the same when they're dried. Um, and in this little bowl, I've got some mashed up, one mashed up banana. I've got the juice of one lemon and the rind of one lemon. So just pop that in. You can actually add some vanilla to this as well, to be honest. I actually forgot to get the vanilla at the supermarket. I ran out. I thought I already had some. I didn't buy any. But you can add some vanilla into this mix if you like. And then I've got some mixed spice. So you can get that also at the supermarket. And I would add, say, two teaspoons of mixed spice. And last but not least, just a little bit of sweetener of your choice. So coconut syrup or agave. Here I've got some date syrup, um, but whatever you like. Maple syrup is really yummy. Even a little bit of honey would be fine. So I'm just going to put two teaspoons of that. And mix it all up. And then just pop it in the fridge and leave it overnight. Here's the fruit mixture that's been 24 hours in the fridge and here's the pastry that we're going to use. Gluten-free pastry, let me tell you, it is a little bit tricky to work with because gluten is actually what holds the pastry together. It's what makes it kind of gluey. So to try and make little individual, you know, pies, mince pies, it's quite difficult because it keeps breaking up. It's a drama. So I've come up with a better idea. And have you ever had a sort of a jam roll or something like that? Um, so I might actually just wash my hands, wet my hands. And I might just do this with my hands. I think it's going to be easier. Yeah, my hands are clean by the way. And so just yeah, get some over every, as much as the pastry edge right up to the edge as possible here we go so this pastry is on some paper and I'm just going to very 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 gently 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 I'm going to you know roll it off place that in to a baking pan and actually diagonally it fits in quite beautifully. Seal up the ends because if you don't 
you're going to get some leakage happening. I'm going to pop that into the oven. I've just taken it out of the oven. It's been in the oven for one hour at 180 degrees. This is an experiment that I made and the pastry has turned out a little bit crumbly. Um, you get that. <laughs> and so it probably is better as a pudding that you can slice up and serve with some yogurt or some cream or some uh, coconut yogurt if you want to stay dairy free um, or even some coconut cream um, mixing up coconut milk and cashews blending them together or even coconut milk and chia seeds and a little bit of sweetener blend it all together put it in the fridge and wait till it gets thick and serve it with this that would be really yummy enjoy